grade 9 motion part 1 in CERT textbook questions and answers page number 100 question number 1 an object has moved through a distance can it have zero displacement if yes support your answer with an example answer yes zero displacement is possible if an object has moved through a distance displacement refers to the shortest distance between the initial and final positions of the object example a boy starts from his home to school and comes back he has covered a distance but his displacement is zero. Page number 100, question number 2. A farmer moves along the boundary of a square field of side 10 meter in 40 seconds. What will be the magnitude of displacement of the farmer at the end of 2 minutes 20 seconds? Answer Side of the square field 10 meter Perimeter of the square equals 4 into side 4 into 20 equals 40 meter Let the farmer moving from a point A which is treated as a reference point he covers 40 meters in 40 seconds therefore distance covered by the farmer in 2 minutes 20 seconds is 2 into 60 plus 20 equals 140 second in 140 second distance covered by farmer in 1 by farmer equals 1 into 140 equals 140 meter the farmer therefore completes three rounds and three rounds of field and 30 meter more distance so the position of a farmer at the end of 140 second will be C that is sorry therefore the magnitude of displacement of the farmer at the end of 140 second equals the shortest distance between initial and final position equals AC equals square root of AB squared plus BC squared by Pythagoras theorem equals root of 10 squared plus 10 squared equals root 2 200 equals 10 root 2 meter Page number 100, question number 3. Which of the following is true for displacement? A. It cannot be 0. B. Its magnitude is greater than the distance travelled by the object. Answer. Both the statements are not true because A. The displacement can be 0. B. The magnitude of displacement can neither be greater than the distance travelled by the object. Page number 102, question number 1. Distinguish between speed and velocity. Answer 1. Speed is the distance travelled by the object in unit time. Velocity is the speed of an object moving in a definite direction. 2. Speed does not have any direction. Velocity has specific direction. 
3 average speed equals total distance traveled divided by total time taken average velocity equals initial velocity plus final veloci velocity divided by 2 page number 102 question number 2 under what conditions is the magnitude of average velocity of an object equal to its average speed answer when the object travels in one direction along the straight line path then the average velocity will be equal to average speed page number 102 question number 3 what does the odometer of an automobile measure answer the odometer of an automobile measures the distance covered by an automobile page number 102 Question number 4. What does the path of an object look like when it is in uniform motion? Answer. In the case of uniform motion, the path of an object will look like a straight line. Page number 102. Question number 5. During an experiment, a signal from a spaceship reached the ground station in 5 minutes. What was the distance of the spaceship from the ground station? The signal travels at the speed of light that is 3 into 10 rise to 8 meter per second. Answer Speed equals 3 into 10 rise to 8 meter per second time 5 minutes that is 5 into 60 seconds 300 second distance equals speed into time that is 3 into 10 raised to 8 into 300 equals 900 into 10 raised to 8 meter that is equal to 9 into 10 raised to 10 meter Thus, the distance of the spaceship from the ground station was 10, 9 into 10 raised to 10 meter. Page number 103, question number 1. When will you say a body is in 1. Uniform acceleration 2 non-uniform acceleration answer a body is in uniform acceleration if it travels in a straight line when its velocity increases or decreases by equal amount in equal interval of time 2 body is in non-uniform acceleration if it travels in a straight line when its velocity increases or decreases by an equal amount in equal intervals of time. Page number 103, question number 2. A bus decreases its speed from 80 km per hour to 60 km per hour in 5 seconds. Find the acceleration of the bus. Answer 1 km per hour equals 5 by 18 meter per second. Initial speed of the bus u equals 80 km per hour, hour equals 80 into 5 by 18 equals 200 by 9 equals 22.22 .22 meter per second. 
final speed of the bus u equals 40 60 km per hour equals 60 into 5 by 80 equals 150 by 9 equals 16.67 meter per second time taken to decrease the speed equals t equals 5 second acceleration of the bus a equals v minus u by t equals 16.67 minus 22.22 divided by 5 equals minus 1.11 meter per second squared the acceleration of the bus is minus 1.11 meter per second squared the negative sign of acceleration indicates that the velocity of the bus is decreasing page number 103 question number 3 a train starting from a railway station and moving with uniform acceleration attains a speed 40 km in 10 minutes find its acceleration answer initial velocity of train u equals 0 meter per second 1 km per hour means 5 by 18 meter per second final velocity of train v equals 40 km per hour equals 40 into 5 by 18 100 by 9 equals 11.11 meter per second time taken t equals 10 minutes equals 10 into 60 600 second acceleration of the train a equals v minus u divided by t equals 11.11 minus 0 equals 11.11 minus 0 divided by 600 equals 0 0.0185 meter per second squared hence the acceleration of the train is 0 0.0185 meter per second squared page number 107 question number 1 what is the nature of the distance time graphs for uniform and non-uniform motion of an object answer the distance time graph for uniform motion of an object is a straight line the distance time graph for non-uniform mo motion of an object is a curved line page number 107 question number 2 what can you say about the motion of an object whose distance time graph is a straight line parallel to the time axis answer when an object is at rest then its distance time graph is a straight line parallel to the time axis thus it indicates that with the change with a change in time there is no change in the position of the object i.e. that is that means the object is at rest page number 107 question number 3 what can you say about the motion of an object if its speed time graph is a straight line parallel to the time axis? Answer A straight line parallel to the time axis in a speed time graph indicates that a change in time 
there is no change in the speed of the object. This indicates the uniform motion of the object. Page number 107, question number 4. What is the quantity which is measured by the area occupied below the velocity time graph? Answer. The quantity of distance is measured by the area occupied below the velocity time graph. Page number one 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 zero. Question number one. A bus starting from rest moves with a uniform acceleration of point one meter per second square for two minutes. Find a the speed acquired, b the distance traveled. Answer. Acceleration A equals 0 0.1 meter per, meter per second square time T equals 2 minute 2 into 60 120 second initial speed U 0. So the speed A the speed acquired by the bus equals V is equal to U plus A T equals 0 plus 0.1 into 120 equals 12 meter per second. The speed acquired by the bus is 12 meter per second. B. The distance traveled by the bus equals S is e equals UT plus half AT squared equals 0 into 120 plus half in into 0.1 into 120 into 120 equals 0 0.1 into 60 into 120 equals 720 meter. The distance traveled by the bus is 720 meter. Page number 110 question number 2. A train is traveling at a speed of 90 km per hour. Brakes are applied so as to produce a uniform acceleration of 0.5 m per second squared. Find how far the train will go before it is brought to rest. Answer. 1 km per hour equals 5 by 18 meter per second. Initial speed u is equal equals 90 km per hour the equals 90 into 5 by 18 25 meter per second. Acceleration a equals 0.5 meter per second square. Train brought to rest. So final speed v is equal 0. According to the third equation of motion, v squared is equals v squared plus 2as, 0 equals 25 squared plus 2 into 0 0.5 into s, 0 plus 0 into 25 minus s, s is equal to 5 meter. The train will travel a distance of 625 meter before it is brought to rest. Page number 110. Question number 3. A trolley while going down an inclined plane has an acceleration of 2 cm per second squared. What will be its velocity 3 seconds after the start? Answer. Initial velocity of the trolley u equals 0. Acceleration a equals 2 cm per second squared equals 
zero point zero two meter per second square time taken t equals three seconds from the first from equa first equation of motion velocity v equals u plus a t equals zero plus zero point zero two into three equals zero point zero six meter per second hence the velocity of the trolley after three seconds of start is zero point zero six meter per second. Page number one one zero question number four. A racing car has a uniform acceleration of four meter per second squared. What distance will it cover in 10 seconds after start? Answer. Acceleration A equals 4 meter per second squared. Time taken T equals 3 seconds. Initial velocity of the car U equals 0. From the second equation of motion, distance covered S equals UT plus half AT squared equals 0 into 3 plus half into 4 into 10 into 10 equals 200 meter. The distance traveled by the racing car in 10 seconds is 200 meter. Page number 110, question number 5. A stone is thrown in a vertically upward direction with a velocity of 5 meter per second. If the acceleration of the stone during its motion is 10 meter per second squared in the downward direction, what will be the height attained by the stone and how much time will it take to reach there? Answer: Initial velocity of the car u equals 5 meter per second squared. Acceleration of Acceleration A minus 10 meter per second squared negative sign due to downward direction. Final velocity V 0. From the third equation of motion V squared equals U squared plus 2 AS that is 0 equals 5 squared plus 2 into minus 10 into S. So S is equal 25 divided by 20, 1.25. Height attained by the stone is 1.25 meter. From the second equation of motion, V squared equals U e plus A T equals 0 plus 0 equals 5 plus minus 10 into T. So, T is equal to T, t equals 5 by 10 equals 0 0.5 second. This the time taken by the stone to reach the top will be 0 0.5 second. Page number 112 question number 1. An athlete completes one round of a circular track of diameter 200 meter in 40 seconds. What will be the distance covered and the displacement at the end of 2 minutes 20 seconds? Diameter of the circular track D equals 200 meter. Radius R D by 2 equals 100 meter. Time taken by the athlete in one round equals 40 second so in 2 minutes 20 seconds that is 140 seconds an athlete will complete 140 divided by 40 equals 3.5 rounds distance covered by the athlete in one round is 2 pi r distance covered by the athlete in 3.5 round equals 2 pi r into 3.5 equals 2 into 22 by 7 into 100 into 3.5 equals 2200 meter. 
distance covered by the athlete in 2 minute to 20 second is 2200 meter displacement the shortest distance between the initial and final position of the athlete will be equal to the diameter of the circular track so displacement is 200 meter page number 112 question number 2 Joseph jogs from one end A to the other end B of a straight 300 meter road in 2 minutes 30 seconds and then turn around and jogs 100 meter back to point C in another 1 minute. What are Joseph's average speeds and velocities in jogging A from A to B and B from A to C? Answer A motion from A to B. Total distance covered by Joseph in 2 minute 30 second is 300 meters that is AB. Time taken is 2 minute 30 second that is 150 seconds. So the average speed equals total distance covered divided by total time taken that is 300 meter divided by 150 second that is equals 2 meter per second. Average velocity equals displacement divided by total time taken that is 300 meter divided by 150 second equals 2 meter per second. B motion from A to C. Distance covered equals 300 plus 100 400 meter displacement equals AB minus CB equals 300 minus 100 200 meter time 150 plus 60 210 seconds. Average speed equals total distance covered divided by total time taken equals 400 meter divided by 210 seconds equals 1.90 meter per second. Average velocity equals displacement divided by total time taken that is 200 divided by 200 uh, divided by 210 second equals 0 0.0952 meter per second. Page number 112, question number 3. Abdul, while driving to school, computes the average speed for his trip to be 20 km per hour. On his return trip along the same route, there is less traffic and the average speed is 30 km per hour. What is the average speed of for Abdul Srim? Answer. Let the distance covered by Abdul in one side is x km. Time taken to his trip to school at the speed of 20 km per hour equals distance divided by speed equals x by 20 time taken on his return trip at a speed of 30 km per hour equals distance by divided by speed equals x by 30 total time for the trip equals x by 20 plus x by 30 equals 3x plus 2x divided by 60 equals 5x divided by 60 hours total distance covered equals 2x Average speed equals total distance covered divided by total time taken that is 2x divided by 5x by 60 equals 2x into 60 divided by 5x equals 54 km, uh, to, sorry, 24 km. Average speed for Abdul strip is 24 km per hour. Page number 112, question number 4. A motorboat starting from rest on a lake accelerates in a straight line at a constant rate of 
3 meter per second squared for 8 seconds. How far does the bot travel during this time? Answer. The motor boat starts from rest. So initial velocity u 0 km. Time taken t equals 8 seconds. Acceleration a equals 3 meter per second squared. Distance covered during the given time s equals ut plus half a t squared equals 0 into 8 plus half into 3 into 8 squared equals half into 3 into 64 equals 96 meter. So the distance traveled by bot is 96 meter. Page number 112, question number 5. A driver of a car traveling at 52 km per hour applies the brakes and accelerates uniformly in the opposite direction. The car stops in 5 seconds. Another driver going to three at 3 km per, per hour in another car applies his brake slowly and stops in 10 minutes. On the same graph paper, plot the speed versus time graphs for the two cars. Which of the two cars traveled further after the brakes were applied? Answer. Initial velocity of the car A equals 54 km per hour. That is 54 into 5 by 18, 14.44 meter per second. Final velocity v equals 0 meter per second. Time taken t 5 seconds. Initial velocity of car b 3 km per hour that equals 3 into 5 by 18 equals 0 0.83 meter per second. Final velocity v 0 meter per second. Time taken t 10 seconds. Distance traveled by a car before coming to rest. Uh, see the graph uh, a equals area. So the distance traveled by car before coming rest equals area of triangle OPR equals half into OP into OR equals half into 144 meter per second into 5 seconds that uh, equals 336.1 meter distance traveled by car b before coming to rest equals area of triangle o s q half into o s into o q equals half into 0 0.83 meter per second into 10 seconds equals 4.15 meter thus the car a travel further than car b after the brakes are applied page number 113 question number 7 a ball is generally dropped from a height of 20 meter if its velocity increases uniformly at the rate of 10 meter per second squared with what velocity will it strike the ground? After what time will it strike the ground? Answer. Initial velocity of the ball u equals 0. Acceleration a 10 meter per second squared. Distance s yes, 20 meter. From the equation of motion v squared minus u squared equ equals 2 a s yes. v squared minus 0 equals 2 into 10 into 20 400 v squared is equal to 400 v is equal to 20 meter per second according to the first equation of motion v is equal v equals u plus a t 20 equals 0 plus 10 t 20 equals 10 t t is equal 20 divided by 10 equals 2 seconds Page number 113, question number 8.
the speed time graph for a car is shown in figure 8.12 a find how far does the car travel in the first 4 seconds shade the area of on the graph that represents the distance traveled by the car during the period b which part of the graph represents uniform motion of the car answer shaded area of the graph from 0 to 4 indicates distance traveled b after 6 seconds the car moves in uniform motion at a speed of 6 meter per second page number 113 Question number 9. State which of the following situations are possible and give examples for each of these. A. An object with a constant acceleration but with zero velocity. B. An object moving in a certain direction with an acceleration in the perpendicular direction. Answer. Both the situations are possible. A. When an object is thrown vertically upward, then at the highest point its velocity is zero, but it has constant acceleration 9.8 meter per second squared acceleration due to gravity. B. When a car is moving in a circular track, its acceleration is perpendicular to its direction. Page number 113, question number 10. An artificial satellite is moving in a circular orbit of radius 42,250 kilometers. Calculate its speed if it takes 24 hours to revolve around the earth. Answer. Circumference of a circle of radius r is given by 2 pi r. If the satellite takes t seconds to go on around the circular path of radius r, the speed v is given by speed v equals 2 pi r divided by t. Radius of circular orbit r equals 42,250 kilometers equals 42,250,000 time taken to revolve around the earth t equals 24 hours that is equals 24 into 60 into 60 seconds therefore v equals 2 into 3.14 into 42 million 250 thousand divided by 24 into 60 into 60 equals 3000 70.9 meter per second equals 3.07 kilometer per second.